happy to see you again. We're uh, going through our list of questions, and today's question was, what is earnest money, and how is it used? Mm -hmm. so, so I'm going to let her start. I'm going to start with the crazy history of earnest money. So um, I like to look at things from a historical perspective, because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. So most of our current laws for real estate are actually from England. Old England, yeah. <laughs> common law England. <laughs> and um, in common law England, you would go to buy your castle and go to the seller's agent and say, here's all my donkeys and some gold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really serious about buying your house. I'm totally going to buy your house. <laughs> I totally am. <laughs> so flash forward to today. You're not bringing your donkeys <laughs> or your gold anymore. No. You're bringing no suitcases of cash. <laughs> Though Please. you may want to. <laughs> so you take um, a, just a regular personal check, yeah. and it's made out to the title company. Mm -hmm. It just sits there for the 30 days of the transaction, or 45 days, um, and it becomes part of your down payment if you complete the transaction. It's essentially a down payment, and we usually recommend this agent somewhere between 1% and 3% of the purchase price, right around there. Um, and it's used to solidify the contract. It shows how earnest you are as a buyer, and um, it gives the seller um, essentially a peace of mind knowing that you put some sort of a down payment or price on the her investment on the house. Yeah. Um, and people always ask what happens with that money. It sits in a title account. So you deposit it within three days of an agreed upon contract, contract three business days, and it's held in that escrow account until closing. They're not making money on your money. They're not out investing it or doing anything dicey no. with it. They're holding the funds and they're used to offset your down payment. So I think the other thing you should know is that the earnest money is fully refundable mm -hmm. um, if you are using any of the contingencies to get out of the contract. Yeah. So like inspection goes bad, um, title report is weird, mm -hmm. um, you can't get the loan, mm -hmm. any of those things you can get out and get your earnest money. Back. And those are all part of the purchase agreement written into the purchase agreement. So. Um, you are refunded that money 100% back as long as you fall within those timelines and um, meet those excuses, for lack of better words. Contingencies. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Keep the questions coming. We'll do our best to answer them. And we're here to help you as best we can in real estate. Please reach out to us. And Thanks we'll, so much. We'll keep the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, guys. <laughs> Bye. And mending.